first thing I think about when I think about Mr. Muley is the, f the fact that, you know, for as much success as he had as a person, he would have never have known it the way he reacted to people. You know, when, when you talk about great people, you know, we all go through our lives and, and say that these are people that, you know, are very unique, and he is one of the unique people I, I've ever met. Uh, I started wearing a hat, and it, it seemed like uh, every time we wear the hat, we'd win. And one night we're in Philadelphia and, uh, and we got we lost. And we get on the bus and uh, your fault, you didn't wear your hat, we lost. I said, okay, you guys, if you think I'm gonna get blamed for this, I'll wear the hat. If you lose, then it's your fault. I think the big difference probably, uh, the fact that Franklin is so reachable, he's part of this team. He travels with us. Uh, he's open to questions at any time. Uh, he prides himself on listening to the players' problems and being able to help his family. Uh, the basketball team is part of his family. But the Warriors are my baby. You know, they, they, would I, uh, the, the Giants and the 49ers get along with or without me. But there were times when the Warriors would have died without me. And I, I kept them alive. Uh, they're my baby. They're mine. And um, uh, th th I guess, th there's, how, do you, how do you judge that, you know? You have a romance, and the romance is gone, but your kid is yours forever. Someday, the, the, whatever footprints I leave in the sand, I know a big part of it's going to be the Warriors. <laughs> <laughs>